What's going on, y'all? Right here at my feet is the Dick Sporting Goods 300 pound weight kit. It's not actually 300 pounds though, because 45 of those pounds is in a barbell, so you get 255 pounds. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the boxes open, we're gonna weigh the weights. We're gonna weigh the weights to see if it was worth buying. I say it wasn't worth buying because weight is pretty much going for $2 a pound on mid-grade weights and high-grade weights are as much as like $4 a pound. Very expensive, this is very cheap when you think about it like that because this is pretty much a dollar a pound being that it's 255 pounds and I only spent around two, $260. So with that being said, we're going to cut these boxes open and start to weigh the weights. Now we're coming towards you. All right, we've got 110, a two and a half, a two and a half. We've got a five. We've got another five. So, so far, two fives. Three fives. We've got four fives, two two and a halves, and two tens. That's box number one. Here we go again. Never cut towards yourself. All right. We've got two twenty fives. We've got two thirty fives, supposed thirty fives, because we're going to find out. If they're around 35 pounds. Alright, in our fourth and final box, remember never cut towards yourself, always cut away. It's gonna be the 45 pounds. Now, I will tell y'all, I saw some reviews on Dicks and they said the barbell is not that good. But again, it's not about the barbell. It's about getting 255 pounds worth of weights for $260, which is cheap. All right, on the next clip, I'll be weighing these weights. Five, number one. We've got 44.8 pounds, second 45. Nine point eight. Nine point eight. One eighty point two. Five pounds. One eighty five point two. Two. One eighty five number three. 185.4 185 even 4.5 number one 182.6 so that's 2.8 and it's the second 2.5 182.6 it's 1.2 right, is all the weights with the tape on it to show the weight. All together, it adds up to 251.6. That means we were 4.4 pounds light of what it should be. And also, we only had three plates, 135 and two fives that were added. Unboxing the last box, the fifth box, the unmarked box, the barbell. 
So. Oh, a couple of clamps. Well, there's one clamp. I don't know what the second clamp is. That'd be easier just to... Okay, it's getting held out because of this. So there are two clamps, thank goodness. So, looking at the barbell, there are grooves in it on the sleeve and the gnarling part of it is knit and it's not aggressive. So when I'm touching the chrome, I feel very little difference in the texture between the gnarling and the chrome. So this is not a power lifting bar. This is not going to give you grip. It's not going to help you if you're doing a deadlift. Um, it also says on the bar, if you come closer with the camera, I want to show this. I've never seen this before on a barbell. It says, do not drop. <laughs> So what I think is this barbell was made in Planet Fitness because you're not allowed to drop it. Um, there's a lot of flex in it. I don't know if y'all can see. Trust me, this floor is not bending. The bar is just with a little bit of pressure and no weight. So I'm going to say that this bar is probably rated at maybe 150 to 200 pounds max. So again, you have to ask yourself, with the weights being inaccurate, is it worth buying? Well, I look at this more than one way. With COVID going on, all the weights are sold out, okay? If you need weights, if you're like me, you've been withering away and not had any gym to go to, can't go to a gym, have no idea when gyms are gonna open and you have $250, excuse me, $260 to spare, I would say yes, it's worth it. It's worth it to try to keep your body in some type of shape if that's what you want to do. With that being said, is it worth it if you're on a budget? Yeah. I mean, if you're on a budget and you're trying to work out, can't afford to go to the gym, then just staying in shape in general is fine. With that being said, is it worth it if you're trying to power lift, if you're trying to be competitive, or if you're really trying to push your strength? I would say no. Because... This weight is fine for low weight. And what I consider low weight is anything 315 or under. So if you're not going over 315 pounds, whether it's a bench, a deadlift, a squat, uh, military presses, any type of power movement, clean and jerk, then you're fine. But if you're gonna cross that threshold of 315, you really need to get more accurate weights because Especially if it's going to be a bench press and it's on top of you, you don't want to have five to six more pounds on your left side pulling you when you have 405 plus or 500 pounds. Like, it's not going to help you. It can end up injuring you. So, again, I will say if you're looking at something to do because of COVID, being that all the weights are sold out, get it. If you're looking to stay in shape because you don't have the money to go to the gym and you can afford this, get it. If you're not trying to get strong or big and you just want to be in good shape, maybe lightweight, um, high reps, then yeah, it's worth getting. However, if you're doing it for power lifting, if you're doing it to get strong, if you're doing it to really try to get the maximum weight you can get out of your body, at the end of the day, you're going to outgrow these weights and you're either going to have to try to sell them or give them away. So I would say in that case, it is not worth it. Thank you all for watching. Would I say my personal opinion, did I waste my money? No, I do not believe I did. I have been scouring the internet for three months now and I can't find a single weight. I think I've only seen a 0.5 weight in stock and that was a calibrated weight. And yeah, I would have been really good at half a pound lifting it, but that's all I would have had. So I'll take inaccurate weights all the way up to 255 pounds, 251 and a half in this case versus 1.5 pound weight. So again, in this circumstance, I think these weights are more than worth the money. Thank you all for watching. And just because I forgot to say this, like I always do,
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down. If you really like the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because that is what helps me out the most. And when you sub to the channel, hit that notification bell, ding, ding, ding. That way you can get updated when I drop the newest content like this. Let me know what y'all think in the comments section.